G. La Fleur, often known as the Flower or La Damon Blonde, is one of the most iconic figures in the history of the National Hockey League. Born on September 20, 1951, in Thurso, Quebec, La Fleur's illustrious career is marked by his exceptional skill, speed, and scoring ability, which earned him a place in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Lafleur's journey to hockey stardom began in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League with the Quebec Remparts. His extraordinary performance, including a record-breaking 130 goals in the 1970-71 season, caught the attention of NHL scouts. In 1971, Lafleur was the first overall pick in the NHL draft, selected by the Montreal Canadiens, a team with which he would forge his legendary status. Lafleur's NHL career spanned from 1971 to 1991, primarily with the Montreal Canadiens, but also with the New York Rangers and the Quebec Nordics in his later years. His tenure with the Canadiens was particularly distinguished. Lafleur was a key player in Montreal's dominance during the 1970s, helping the team to five Stanley Cup victories 1973, 76, 77, 78, and 79. He won the MVP award twice, in 1977 and 1978. Lafleur led the league in scoring three times 1976, 77, and 78. He was awarded the playoff MVP in 1977. And Lafleur was named to the NHL All-Star team six times. Lafleur was renowned for his powerful skating and ability to execute plays at high speeds. His wrist shot was one of the most feared in the league, and he possessed an uncanny knack for scoring goals from difficult angles. His dynamic style of play revitalized the Canadiens' offense and inspired a generation of fans and players. Lafleur retired for the first time in 1985 but made a surprising comeback in 1988, playing for the New York Rangers and later the Quebec Nordics. He finally retired in 1991. In 1988, even before his final retirement, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, highlighting the immense respect and admiration the hockey world had for him. After retiring, Lafleur remained involved in hockey and became a successful businessman and philanthropist. He also received numerous honors, including being named an Officer of the Order of Canada and receiving several provincial accolades in Quebec. G. Lafleur's influence on the game of hockey is undeniable. His combination of skill, flair, and competitive spirit not only brought success to the Montreal Canadiens but also left an indelible mark on the sport itself. Lafleur's legacy continues to inspire young hockey players and fans around the world, ensuring that his contributions to the NHL will never be forgotten. So what are your thoughts about G. Lafleur? Do you think he should or not be in the Hall of Fame? Write in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Like and share this video and click on the playlist above to watch more NHL Hall of Famers of his era. Thanks for watching.